mostly on flight time. What's going on, my people? This is Livianka, and you are tuning in to Flight Time on Guide Radio with Captain Sly. Are we all suited that everybody's okay? Uh huh. She can't even drip it. Uh, this African energy. I love. I, I, I love the energy, man. That's that's what's happening. <laughs> Our sister right now, all the way from Cameroon, right? Yes. I know the states is there, but yes. all the way from Cameroon first. Yes. That's more yes. important. Yes. Aha. I played the tune so you both have an understanding it of what's happening. The people hit maker. Uh-huh. She's here. Ooh. Yeah. We'll get we'll get some visual so you can see it. I love the hair, do the rap and everything. <laughs> Libyaka. And yes. and your last name, Fungi. Fungi, yeah. Fungi. Mm-hmm. Ha. Such a strong name. Yeah. Aqua Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. First and foremost, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm chilling. I've been taking naps today. Yeah? Yeah. yeah it's a holiday in Ghana. Yes. Yeah, they drag this out because you have to entertain the people. Yeah. And you're doing... <laughs> That's what I'm doing. That's and you're doing job. your rounds on a holiday. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. But you, you're on vacation anyways. Yeah, I am on vacation, spending some quality time, mm-hmm. enjoying the ins and outs of Ghana. Ins and outs of Ghana. Yeah. Okay. What was the first thing you tried when you got to Ghana? First thing I tried. Uh-huh, the meals. Mm-hmm. We have I can't even food remember, yet. but I know that I've eaten, I've eaten wachi. Okay. Real wachi, because the way they cook wachi in America is nuts. Ha! Repeat that part. It is nuts. It's the horrible. Way uh-huh. they cook wachi in America is not what wachi it's is. It's not what I agree with <laughs> That's you. Not horrible. They've been starving so, us in, in that continent. I'm over telling there. you, bro. Ah, Real so wachi. Fucking, yeah, no, I've, I've, I've enjoyed that. I've eaten mm-hmm. both fruits. Hey, By this hey. point, my stomach is full of bro. I ate like three. <laughs> Three earlier. Three more fruits. I'm not. I'm not even joking. Mm-hmm. Uh, super yogo. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've been enjoying myself. Ah, uh, <laughs> God, is, is this your first time here? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Experience wise, I mean, you've been to Cameroon. You've uh-huh. been to other places. Uh-huh. When you touch down Ghana, what's the energy vibe you were getting? So it's um in the areas that I've been in yeah. so far, it's been very like a uh, touristy. So you know, it's touristy? like suitable for tourists. Okay. People okay. from other countries, they can come and be comfortable yeah, and stuff like that. And that makes sense because a lot of people have been traveling here mm-hmm. um, for a few years now. Very busy. So yeah. Other than that, everything is very similar. Mm. To be honest, like you feel at home. The markets look similar. The, like, the yeah, market like, people. <laughs> honestly, I've just been looking around everything because this is the only place that I've been to that is. The most similar um, mm. to where I grew up, kind of, you know. Yeah. So it's nice to look around, mm-hmm. see that like the body languages are kind of the same and things like that. So it's cool. It's cool. Familiar faces. Familiar faces. I've seen some people that look like doppelgangers. Like I seen, uh, <laughs> I see somebody that looked like Ladi Po. I was like, that's not Ladi. That's hairstyle. not Ladi Po. Like, well, hey, it could be Ladi Po hanging around. A lot of people in Ghana. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes, yes. Um, no, the guy was um, selling. I can't remember where he was selling, but he was selling something. I was like, that's not like mm. it looked like like poop. Yeah, everybody's yeah. hustling here. <laughs> everybody's ah, hustling. You have to. Gl- <laughs> you have to. Yeah. You know the African structure. Um, happy you're here. You mentioned where you grew up. You talking? You referring to Cameroon? Mm-hmm. Yep, okay, yep. where in Cameroon did you grow up? I grew up in Bamenda. So I grew up Bamenda. between Bamenda, Bali, and um, Yaoundé. So okay. Bali is where my grandma used to live. Mm-hmm. Bamenda is where our house was. Yaoundé is like where like my uncle was. We used to go mm. to visit for holidays. So yeah, I went between like those areas, and it's like English and French. Mm. So okay, yeah, mixing mixing between both. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So obviously, it was a wee wee uh, tupa, yeah, tupa yeah, français. Yeah, those type of situations, honestly, because I. I used to be fluent okay. when I was younger because I was forced to spend time in Yaoundé for like right. for like three months. So I picked up a lot of things, but as time went on, my French, you know, I can't understand, but to reply back is a little Fading bit... Fading away, yeah. It's a little bit shaky. They used mm-hmm. to beat us for not speaking French in Ghana because of our schooling system. Yeah, they forced French on us. You know what? Mm-hmm. It's not a language. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> they used to force French on, on, on us too. Even though it's one of our, our languages, they were mm-hmm. still forcing it on the English mm-hmm. side. Yeah, yeah. I used to get beat every time. You know, when like when like everybody with the low score, now yeah, yeah, yeah. they're calling everybody to the front of the class. <laughs> Fonji Libyaka. Oh, Fonji Libyaka. Ask, ask me, warming my hand before they, you know, they, they bless la- me. So. Oh, my goodness. All right, so you didn't enjoy French. So when did you get to the States then? Uh, when I was like 13. Okay, you weren't born in the states. I was. You were I was. Born um, I was born here, mm-hmm. and then uh, my brother was, and then me, my brother, and my mom we mm-hmm. went to Cameroon so okay. when I was like four years old. Came back. And I was okay. there 
Oh, what's the date? Same. Came back. Came back. Yeah. Okay. And the state that you're in, I mean, for people who know the states, yes. Like, there are no black people there. Uh, I mean, at the time. Like Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Minnesota um, is like Minnesota is diverse. Mm. I feel like there are some places that I've been to that are even less black people. Where like it's almost like somebody will be looking at you as if yeah you know like yeah. who, why you, you, you are different yeah yes 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 so like i mean so that's act- actually more diverse than a lot of people think it's just that there's not much to do so you won't see people coming out all the time to like party because you're spending the same mm-hmm. money at the same club over and over again i see <laughs> it's, like, it's different like if you talk about minnesota like if you go to new york go to the uh, yes, cali different yes. energy it's di- oh it is such it is such different energy i yeah. swear new york is not a real place <laughs> <laughs> Bronx zoo what? i'm telling you like bro and the rats can we talk about the, the rats are like this yeah, big BK. Uh, huge what are they eating? I tried telling somebody they didn't believe it because they <laughs> thought it was America. I was like, bro, if you go to BX no, and, no, and, no. and boogie that, yeah, my people are there. <laughs> Yo, Kiwi, my child, you people have some crazy hoods in there. Yeah, bro. Really horrible stuff. Yeah. What's the memory like growing up? Like, what do you remember growing up in Minnesota, for example, when you mm. were like 13, 14? African child, you just <laughs> land there. What are going there? <laughs> I'm already you, laughing. I know. What did you uh, want to do? So first, first, first things first. Uh, a few days before school started, because I came uh, to Minnesota like during um, Tetum holiday. Was that summer? Okay. I came during t- summer. So a few days now before school started, mm-hmm. they sent everything. My mom already took me to go and register in the school. Everything mm-hmm. was middle school. So now they have given like the streets for like the bus stop. I'm like, ah, oh, there's bus. Okay, no yeah. problem. I'll walk to the bus stop. I told my mom, I'm like, you have to walk me there because I don't want to get lost. She, mm-hmm. she said, okay. So she walked me there now. So I wake up in the morning but i have forgot because the streets is not the way the streets are in you know what i'm saying yeah. every house almost looks the same so you cannot be yeah. like oh you have to take a left at that junction where that blue house is at african description <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's not correlating now because nah. everything looks the same mm-hmm. so now i stepped out and i remember i was wearing like my short knicker jeans and i was wearing like basketball shoes okay. and some and some shirt and um i knew that i was killing let's go summer so gear i'm walking bro but i was going the opposite way mm-hmm. i wasn't going the way of my bus stop and by the time that i was i was uh, i realized it the house that was next to the apartment complex that we lived in yeah a dog just jumped over that fence no way. i said jesus no <laughs> <laughs> that that it, it was not even funny i'm laughing about it now yeah. but i was scared for my life then Jeez. because for the dog to be strong enough to have the muscles the muscles jump, to over, jump the fence. over the fence attack the african girl ah that means that today's the day that god is going to take me now so i was not running i was running i was running that dog followed me until it was the owner that came out wow. to like shout for it to come back you guys were running together down the block yes me and that dog <laughs> 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 Man, that dog, no, please. Hey. Flight time on and Saturday. the neighborhood. Uh, was it an all white neighborhood? Um, that is a very good question. No, it actually was um, um it was a low income neighborhood. So mm. like I'm Spanish. Yeah, like um, um Latino. Yes, uh, mm-hmm. uh, Latino. There was some like Somalians it, and uh, okay. Ethiopians, uh, East Africans East were there Africans, as well, yeah. and also West Africans. So mm. yeah, that's kind of um the blender mm-hmm. that was the blend okay there was really you really see a, a white person i think it was like one white person that lived in the whole complex really Very interesting yeah now if you look back now at you now um on the musical journey yeah you think that affected anything at all the environment my environment i feel mm-hmm. i feel like even even if i didn't notice it mm-hmm you know um mentally mentally everything yeah. gets affected in some kind of way mm-hmm. you know what i mean because the uh, um who you are and uh the things you, you like why yeah. you like them it's all good, connected good to one. your experiences yeah, right yeah, yeah. so um they all correlate in some type of way uh some of them i know obviously like um how um how grateful i am for how far i've come along in life mm-hmm. because i know where i used to be before yeah. um so that's very that's very nice and then yeah I get influenced with the music, the mm. stuff, the way I used to live back then definitely shapes me in some way, mm-hmm. some, some shape or form. Yeah. Adopting it. Yeah. Adding, adding it to the, 
the music. Exactly. You've seen your IG the therapist. It's like yes, uh, the, the it's therapist. The hashtag. Yes. Now, right. Oh my gosh, it's way easier said than done. Mm. It is way easier said than done because for me to create, I have to sit down and look at myself in the mirror and actually see myself. And uh, a lot of us, we spend time running away yeah, from that stuff. Like, you don't want to sit down nature. and... Yeah, I know. Yeah, like, yeah. please, I'll rather go and take a shot off because I'm going to go somewhere. I don't want yeah. to sit down and, be, you know, ponder on things that are very uncomfortable to feel. But I have that to in order yeah. to create the art that I love and people love. That, so. that is the thing. Shout out to you. Big shout out to you. Okay. <sighs> because doing that is you being vulnerable. Yes. The people record is yes. a real record, right? Yes. It's like throwing yourself to the lions every time. Mm -hmm. It's like throwing yourself to the lions because there's always people who are saying something negative. But I choose to focus on only the positive every parts. Day. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes, you know, people can give criticism that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, hmm, I didn't think about it that way. Let me try to apply and see what, da, 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 da. But other than that, yeah, it's like feeding yourself to the lion because I have to be so raw and so honest. Mm -hmm. And at first with people, oh yeah, I was like, ha, ha, ha. It was like, it was a joke. Now yeah. it's like, no, like you have to sit down and feel these things. Mm -hmm. And they're very uncomfortable, but I just, I'm accepting my humanity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just gotta accept that I'm human, bro. What what else can I do? Yeah. What else can you do? If you just tuned in, we're speaking to Libyanka. Yeah. Okay. Um, I I, <laughs> I always put the Cameroon first before we add you know anything American and everything because yeah. you're one of us. You're a sister. We're very proud of you. Thank uh, what you. What you're doing, very much. you know. Thank um, you. The the record is very big, but the most important thing is you being able to show you know the african child that it's okay to open up yes and oh my and actually for you now it's a benefit yes mm -hmm. it is it is a bit right? it's showing that vulnerability can pay off Hard. don't listen to your father that is sitting there and telling you hey, hey, oh hey, why hey, you crying talk to them. you should not be sitting there and crying because you're a man you should not be sitting there and crying you should not be spending mm -hmm. your time to be doing this and that, that, that vulnerability is actually one of the biggest strengths it is not a weakness superpower it is not it is a superpower superpower it is a energy, superpower energy yeah i love that when when did you discover music because it will tie that into into this superpower you just discovered how young were you? I was like, maybe like five, six, five, some, six somewhere seven, around there. Eight. Because when, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know it was definitely less than 10. Because by the age of 10, I started writing songs. I started writing really? songs. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I was, it became an obsession with singing. Okay. Yeah. So it was singing, 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 singing. Then now it became writing songs, writing songs, writing songs. And then it went to playing guitar, playing guitar, playing guitar. Then playing piano, playing piano, playing piano. Then engineer. Just being like obsessed with everything yeah. that plays a part in the creative process this thing you light up is excited i mean yeah. you're, you're actually in there <laughs> no, I, love that, I love it these are different things singing to writing to playing yeah it like it's like different different yeah. avenues because like with songwriting like i learned one of the biggest things i learned in like my teenage years was the difference between um um recording in the studio and mm -hmm. singing live Mm. because recording in the studio is a performance that is going to be played over and over and over yeah. and over so one you have to give your best performance mm -hmm. and two don't do too much do do the right amount that is for your going voice. to catch the listeners and for your voice and everything just like balance it well because mm -hmm. then you can go crazy at live performances you can mm. do all the billions of runs and freestyles stuff. So, yep. yeah, yeah yeah you can yeah, go yeah, crazy yeah, then mm -hmm. yeah so um i'm learning the ins and outs songwriting the 10 in the six you listen to music what songs do you remember listening to that influenced you i listened to a lot of genres i listened to uh makosa i mean makosa. cameroonian so it's really <laughs> it's really right um makosa um i also listened to First of all, Wizzy Boy, <laughs> um, <laughs> the oh, Wizkid, Peace Square, okay, okay. You know, <laughs> they were uh, and uh, two Baba, mm, those legend. those four were yeah. yeah, like just in the yeah, um, they were really pop, like they're still popping, but they were still pop popping at that time, like when they first like came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The so, energy was different. Um, I was obsessed. Um, and then Chris Brown, the likes of Chris Brown, Keisha so Cole, some R and B. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So. There was the R&B mm -hmm. influence, and then the older I got, the more I got into other stuff. Like um, 
I got into uh, what do you call that? That is classical music, like classical. listening to random things, like okay. listening to just instruments. Like, okay, yeah, I just yeah. want to hear a bunch of instruments. I'm gonna go sit 